Coach Hardy, if you could just start off by giving us an overview of your team. Absolutely. Well, we're, uh, we're really excited about uh, 2013 football season again. Um, last year was my first year uh, at GAC. In a lot of ways, a real transition year, obviously, a, a coaching change. But heading into last season, we had uh, three total returning starters, offense and defense combined, and one of them was the same guy. And uh, so last year was a year of a lot of new faces um, in, in all aspects of the program. And uh, um, it really was a fun year to, to see us come together as a team and develop and really develop a mentality and, and uh, play as a group. And I think that the key to our success last year is uh, individually we were okay, but together we were, we were pretty good in a true team mentality. And so um, this year's a little bit different in terms of those numbers. We have uh, nine returning starters on defense and we have six returning starters on offense, and as well as some other guys who played significant time and are ready to sort of step up to the next level. So um, we're really excited about this year. Um, we, uh, we have some key pieces back uh, with me. I've got Rafe Chapel, our quarterback, um, Brent Lee, offensive lineman, uh, two of our best players last year are coming back. Um, you know, we've, we've got key spots on defense, key spots on offense. Uh, we've got a long snapper, all-state punter, and a kicker that made 10 of 11 field goals. So we've got some key key pieces in the, in, in, in place. Um, but at the same time, I understand every year is a new year, and, and uh, we're excited to sort of earn and work and see what we can do this season. And if you can pass the microphone to both players, and, and each player, if you could just get, kind of give your overview, kind of your thoughts on the season as well. Um, I'm very excited about 2013. Um, it's going to be a great year. It's my senior year. And I'm just really excited to see how we continue to come together as a team this summer. Because at the, the end of July is really that turning point when you start to gel together as a team and come together and start to play as one. And I'm just really excited for that and to see what we can do in 2013. Yeah, I'm really excited for this year. And I know most teams have just a lot of players that play, but we play as a team. We come together as like one uh, piece. And I know we got a lot of players coming back this year and uh, another year we, we're more used to the offense and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to see what we can do. Coach Hardy, you mentioned you didn't have a lot coming back last year, which you do this year. Y'all reached the semifinals without a lot coming back. You have more coming back this year. So what's kind of the expectations? I mean, yeah, I'm assuming the semifinals again. Is it further? Just, what's the thoughts? Yeah, I'm just like anything. You want to goal is to, to be as good as you can be. And uh, we feel like, um, you know, we have the ability and the opportunity to, to play as long as anybody in the state in, in, in 2A. And so um, at the same time, we understand all that it takes to go in for that to happen. It takes a, a lot of, of hard work, dedication, execution. It takes the right guys and staying healthy. It takes some good fortune that you don't have in your hands in terms of health and, and some of those kind of things. But we're just we're more focused. We just want to focus on being the best we can be with the group that we have. Um, I feel like one of the biggest areas we've grown is, is just a mentality from doing what I'm supposed to do because I'm supposed to do it to a more internal motivation from our players. We have a really good senior class. And, they're the ones that are driving the ship. It felt like last year's coaches, we were we had to drive the ship, and that's really starting to come from our players. And I think that's what gives us opportunity to be good. Is it's, it's really coming from within within the team. And this is for your quarterback, Chapel. Uh, what's different about this summer um, with Coach Hardy being here for a year now compared to last summer with him, you know, just starting uh, coming in? Um, last summer, um, I was fighting for the job most of the summer and didn't get it till the end of the summer. So that's a lot different and. This summer, we're competing in more seven-on-seven seven tournaments. Um, I have much more confidence throwing the football all around the field. I feel like I can make any throw, and I have great receivers who can make any catch for me. So it's just really good, good to see how our passing game has developed over this summer versus last summer. Britt, where do you stand recruiting-wise as far as any uh, offers and uh, timeline on making a decision? Um, I have offers from Air Force, Mercer, and Presbyterian, and I'm not trying to hurry into anything. I'm going to wait, and I, I like all those colleges that have offered me so far, and I know they understand I want to wait and just go out, and go out and play my senior year and hopefully make a decision pretty soon after then, but I'm sure.
Coach, from an offensive standpoint last year, you had quite a few different playmakers. You did a really good job of spreading the ball around. A couple of those guys aren't, aren't back. You can lose Kyle Scales, Peter Whiteneck. Who do you feel like, uh, aside from the gentleman to your left here, uh, are going to be some of the key focal points? Who, who do you feel like you needs to step up and, and become those playmakers for you? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. In, in the running game, obviously last year Kyle Scales was a great back for us and a guy that you could just sort of carry the load, you, you pepper and a couple other guys with it. This year I think our, our running back uh, situation will be a little bit more by committee. Um, we've got some good ones, but some different punches. One is Micah Abernathy. Uh, Micah is a state 400 meter champ. Um, his brother Ralph David was an incredibly accomplished high school football player here in Georgia. And uh, Micah just ran 48-6 last Saturday in Florida, so Micah can, Micah can go. And so he's different than, uh, than, than Kyle. He's got some strengths, and so we're trying to use that. Uh, Ross Wood, who's a free safety and all-state punter, uh, plays a receiver last year. He's actually played tailback this year as well. So Ross is very different than Micah. Um, so we're going to sort of do that by committee just a little bit. Peter Whiteneck was really productive for us last year, obviously. Um, but we've got some other receivers that are ready to take that next level. Chris, Chris Williams had 800 yards receiving last year. He's uh, probably about 15 pounds heavier and faster than he was last year. Uh, Darius Slayton. As a sophomore, was sort of a spot player for us last year, and, and made some big plays. But it was a sophomore. Uh, he won state in the hundred, uh, in the two hundred, I believe. He won both. I mean, just he can go. So I got those two guys. We were doing a drill in practice the other day. And we we're working on inside seams, and Darius was on one seam, and Mike was on the seam. And Rafe Apple said to the guy playing free safety, "said Good luck." And he snapped the ball. And the offense was successful on the play. Um, so Darius is ready. He's ready for that next step and in to in in sort of go from him, a fast young guy, to I'm a guy that can make plays on Friday night. So we feel really good about those guys sort of stepping in there. And then we have another player, Parker Pole Hill. And it's like anything, when, when a couple guys leave, the sophomores who are good enough to, to help you a little bit now become the juniors and have the chance to step in. So we feel like we have a really solid receiving core. And, and you feel like the line is, is experienced enough to really kind of give them some room to work with? Yeah, we do. I think um, uh, Britt is clearly the, the, the leader in our line, and uh, he and Carson Cox are the two guys that really have much experience. Some other guys that have been in our program that have worked, they're going to be there. And I think just like anything, um, your, your lines are good when they work well together. Is you can have a line that has two great players, but there's not cohesion. And, and so for us, we really want to be uh, up front. Just our, our guys are a bunch of, bunch of bulldogs, man. They're going to lock in on you and, and fight for five, for five, six seconds every play and do a good job. And so um, I, I think we can do that. We've, we, we do a good job in terms of putting, uh, putting guys in spots where they can be successful. And, and uh, no, you know, I think that unit will work well as a group. Roth, how are your parents handling this season? It's the last chapel to ever play uh, football at GAC. I believe you're the fourth brother. Uh, Chapel's been uh, you, you know, on the GAC fields, I think, for the last 10 or 12 years. How are they going to handle this last season? Um, well, I think they've, they've been telling me that they're excited for all of us to get out of the house because they can do what they want. But I think I think they'll be balling when I leave. But, no, we'll be excited. <laughs> That's my dad back there. But yeah, I think they're definitely excited for um, well, the last senior season. Um, it's going to be bittersweet for them. But, I mean, they've enjoyed GAC. GAC has been great to our family, and the football program has been awesome. Do you ever reach out to your brothers? Any kind of uh, you know, tips they can kind of give you as far as um, you know, playing the position or anything like that? Um, yes, definitely. Um, the mental side of playing quarterback. Uh, I feel like I've had the advantage out of all my brothers because I get to ask them questions about that and I get to ask them about coverages, how to read coverages, um, um, what's, going, what's going through your head on a fourth, qu fourth quarter and there's a minute left and you're driving down the field and they just really help me stay like calm, cool and collected while I've played and I feel like that's helped me a lot. To any of you guys up there uh, to kind of revisit something? Brandon asked, uh, having reached the semifinals last year, and given the fact that there are only five teams in your region, uh, there's always going to be the temptation to kind of, kind of look ahead and, and see where you guys can fit in uh, on a statewide level. Uh, how big a temptation is that, and then how do you, you know, try and do that and yet stay focused on, on what you guys have to do? Yeah, I mean, to, first of all, our, uh, our our non region schedule helps square us up on that pretty good. Um, you know, we play a, a variety of teams, none of which are 2A. We're playing you know, Shambly Head, 
uh, Division One recruits as State voted the Cab County last year. We played Thompson at the Brickyard and Thompson this year. We play uh, Appalachian. We handled them last year. They're coming to our place. I guarantee you they don't want to get beat by GAC two years in a row. And so we've got a pretty difficult non-region schedule. Um, the size of our region is not huge, but the quality is is, is fantastic. And so. It's like anything, it's just a step, one step after another um, for us to get better and, and, and move forward. Uh, it's, it's, it's a long season and a lot of there's ebbs and flows. And so our focus really tries to be internally that we want to be the best we can be this Friday night, the best we can be next Friday night, knowing that there will be a progression for us to get where we need to get. Who's your top recruited players, um, either top one, two, or three recruited players as far as getting the most interest right now? Yeah, it'd be, uh, we really have sort of four guys. It'd be these two guys and then uh, Chris Williams, um, and uh, Ross Wood, those four guys have a lot of um, sort of SOCON, uh, Patriot League, Ivy League, um, you know, Briz mentioned the School Service Academies, those kinds of folks, a lot of, a lot of interest in that. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're not going to have anybody sign to go to Georgia. We have four or five guys that are going to play, you know, FCS football, and so you can be pretty, pretty stinking good high school football team, especially when one's in the line, one's a quarterback, one's a free safety, one's a receiver, you can be pretty productive um, on Friday night with that level of talent. We've talked a lot about the uh, the offensive side of the ball. Let's talk about the defense. Uh, what, what do you feel like the, the strengths? What do you feel like you kind of build from from a defensive standpoint this year? Absolutely. We've got um, our entire back four and then three of our four linebackers back. We're 314. Um, and so there's just a lot of experience there. You can see a level of confidence in the way they execute calls. Um, from a coverage standpoint, this summer, obviously, you throw the ball so much. Um, we've got stuff in we never were able to get to at any point in the season last year. We're executing it at a higher level. And so we're really pleased with, with that. We also, at the same time, even though we have guys back, we, have, we actually have more depth than we have last year. So we have guys that are pushing and rotating in. Um, the size of our team, a lot of guys are bouncing on both sides of the ball. And so um, we're going to be deeper in that back half than we were last year. You'll see more guys rotating in now, not because that guy's not good enough, but because the next guy deserves some playing time as well. So I think schematically we're going to be Simpler for us, but a little more complicated for the opponent, if that makes sense, because of their D-line wise, we're, 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 we've got some guys with some experience and some newer guys rotating in, um, but that's a little simpler. So uh, we're just excited about that. Uh, also, just our staff, you know, we, when we came together last year, our staff, we didn't, some of us have worked together, some of us haven't, so specifically our defensive staff, another year together, um, a lot more comfortable and confident. Uh, we just, we had a coach's sort of retreat the past couple days and just remarkable. We're so much further along right now than we were this time last year. It's, it's, it's a good thing.